Hey Z Stars, welcome back to the channel. It's Zara, aka Epic Zara, and I'm back again with another video. Now I'm really close to the camera because today I want to show you guys how to get this makeup look. It's the perfect selfie makeup. I'm gonna give you guys all my techniques for getting flawless selfie makeup so you can take the perfect selfie. Before we get into it, please don't forget to do the four simple things I always ask you to do. Please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, let you know that you enjoy this type of content. Comment down below, let me know if you like this makeup look. Let me know if you want to see more of these types of videos. Be sure to share this video with all of your friends and your loved ones. And last but certainly not least, be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn your notifications on so that you know every time we post a new video. Now again, this is perfect selfie ready makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get right into it. As you can see, I already have on my foundation and it's just looking very luminous, pretty dewy. Now, there are two reasons for this. I've opted for a luminous foundation and that is my Lancome Tanti Doll 24 Hour Ultra Foundation, one of my holy grail foundations, and it's actually my exact skin tone. To give it a more photo ready finish, I've mixed it with my Revlon, and that is the color stay for combination to oily skin. Now, I've also opted for an illuminating primer in spite of my oily skin because I want a really youthful, dewy, beautiful, luminescent glow when I'm outside taking those selfies. So I've done all of that already, and you guys can see the base. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is add concealer. Oh, guys, sorry, there's a lot of noise. So the first concealer I'm going to using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Fawn and it's actually pretty close to my skin tone so it's really not light enough but I like to use it to just gently highlight my face and this is right before I use my actual shade which is Pure Beige. So the reason I use this is to give the gradients and the transitions just a very nice natural feel. This is just mildly brightening so when you're taking your selfies your skin just looks like it has a lot of dimension. This is one of my go-to tricks for having the best selfies in the universe. <laughs> So I'm also going to add it right here, a little bit on my chin, and just a smidgen on my forehead. I don't like my chin and my forehead to be too bright because the shape of my face lends itself already to a lot of dimension. I feel like if I do too much in the highlighting department, I just end up looking kind of crazy. So I'm also going to put it underneath my cheekbone just to give that a bit more dimension. All of these placement techniques look really fantastic in selfies. So also another tip, when you're putting your concealer down, be sure not to put it too close to your under eye. You'll blend it out so you don't need to put it right up under there or else it's going to get cakey. So anyway, you guys, I've put down my concealer. I'm gonna blend it out with my beauty blender. Well, it's not really a beauty blender, it's a beauty sponge and I think it's real technique. I used to hate the beauty blender. Now I'm a huge fan of beauty sponges. They've actually revolutionized my makeup game. So I'm just going to gently blend that out. If nothing else, make sure that your skin looks absolutely flawless. If you're going to wear makeup, make sure it's really blended. If you're not going to wear makeup, make sure that your skin is glowing and looking extremely flawless for the selfie. I'm now going to add just a little bit down the middle of my nose. So again, I don't like to highlight my nose too much because I want everything to look very soft and natural. You guys will see the effect I get when I do my techniques. So now I'm taking my real highlight color, which is Pure Beige, and the same LA Girl Pro Concealer, and I'm going to be pretty liberal with it. So the reason why I love this color is because it reminds me a lot of NC42 by MAC, which is another one of my perfect highlight colors. And the reason why I prefer these kinds of shades is because they have a pretty neutral undertone, not too warm and not too yellow, and it's perfect for my skin's undertones. So you guys can see I'm applying this pretty liberally. Today, I want my under eyes to be pretty bright. It's very important to put contour and concealer where the light is either hitting your face or where the shadow is forming on your face. This keeps your face the same shape. If you're trying to change the shape of your face a bit, then you will change the highlights and the shadows by adjusting where you put the contour and the concealer. But for me, I love the shape of my face. So I really just want to bring out certain parts where it's already highlighted. Now I'm actually going to take my contour concealer, which is MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NW45. For now, I'm going to use this warm concealer to contour my face. So guys, another pro tip. Now, since I'll be taking my selfies outside, I actually want to look sun-kissed. That's why I'm using this warm concealer, and we're going to just very gently put it on the places where my face has natural shadows. 
Now it dries really quickly, so I'm going to just do it in steps. And right now I'm going in with a brush to pick up the product, but later in you guys will see me actually use my beauty blender to pick up the product and apply it to my face. Now I'm taking the butt end of this and gently blending. So you guys can see there's actually a lot of dimension coming to my face now. So I'm actually going to blend a little bit with the concealer side just to make sure that the colors are actually meshing together well. Now be sure to drag this into your hairline. A lot of people don't put makeup in their hairline. Why Sway? It's just going to look like one big huge line of demarcation. So I always pull this up into my hairline. So I'm going to pick up the product with my blender now and just gently apply it. So now I'm going to apply this to my nose. I'm going to make a pretty thin kind of line. Now you guys can see my nose bridge clearly and you can see where the shadow kind of is. So what I'm doing is I'm just defining that natural shape. I like my nose to be really snatched. So I'm going to blend that into my brows. I know I haven't done my brows yet, but I'm just going to make sure that area is super blended. That way when we get there, we're not struggling. Now blending is the most important thing. If you go outside and your makeup is looking streaky, then your pictures, you'll have to do a lot more to fix them. Okay, so right now I'm pretty pleased with this look. I'm going to go in with a little bit more of my contour and now I'm going to just gently put it down my jaw. Now I don't want to make my jaw look smaller or anything. I just want to make it look nice and sharp. So I'm going to put it on the edges. We're actually like almost finished with the face makeup, but I'm really quickly just going to go back in and define my nose just along the sides. Okay, so there you have it, nice and defined, but also nice and blended. We're now going to work on the eyebrow. The vibe I'm going for is a very sun-kissed, dewy, goddess-like look, and this is how I get my best selfie. So I'm gonna make sure that my eyebrows look like hair. It also gives the illusion that your phone camera is even sharper than it actually is simply because you can see the hairs in your brow. So first things first, I'm just going to gently brush them. Then I'm going to take my Avita Joseph High Definition Expert Brow Liner in Rich Espresso and I'm going to just gently further define my brow. I'm just going to add a more defined bottom line and maybe make the tail look a little neater. Ooh, I'm also going to extend the front a little bit just to make them a bit longer. My brows actually need a lot of deliverance. Like they haven't been done in a while, but I'm not going to touch them myself. I'm waiting for my friend slash fave makeup artist, Jire of St. Ola, whose page you should totally check out. I'm actually gonna have him razor them when he's available. And we'll be doing a video with him soon. So you guys stay tuned. So I finished doing my brows or rather I finished adding hairs to them. And now I'm going to just conceal them. I don't like to use concealers that are too light because to me that looks really fake. I'm going to use fawn underneath my eyebrows and then I'm going to use my foundation mixed with a little bit of fawn on top of my eyebrow just to ensure that it's a bit thicker and neater. So I'm going to quickly blend this out because this concealer dries really fast. Okay, so I've successfully blended out the bomb. It's now time to define the top of it. Now I'm going to just go back in with my beauty blender and blend out these harsh lines. Okay, great, so we can move on to eye makeup, but before we do, I'm going to quickly define my lip here, and then I'm also going to put on powder to set all my concealer. I don't like this powder, I'm gonna be 100, but it's the only thing I have right now. I usually use a different one. So as you guys can see, I'm being pretty liberal. That's because I want this makeup to last. So another pro selfie tip. If you're taking selfies, try not to make your face too busy. Unless of course you're like a makeup artist or a beauty guru and your aim is actually to showcase the makeup. Now, I don't want the makeup to distract from me. So I'm going to do something very mild. Simple eye. I'm gonna add freckles because I like a lot of dimension in my selfies. And then I'm also going to do a bolder lip. The lip is going to be the focal point. So I'm getting out my Juvia's Place Masquerade palette and I'm just going to get started. I'm going to add brown liner in the shade Fulani to my crease. I'm just going to take this fluffy brush 
from Avita Joseph, the fluffy blender, and I'm going to blend with it. Now I'm going to add a dot to my eyes, just right below that, with the same brush. I'm going to take my fluffy blending brush and blend again. Now remember, we want the eyes to be soft. That's why I'm making sure to blend so consistently. I really don't want any harsh lines or anything that's going to draw attention from the other features. Now I'm going to take a clean, flat brush and I'm going to spray it with a bit of Fix Plus and I'm going to dip into Casablanca. Now I'm very carefully putting it just in the center. It's really shimmery, so I don't want to mess up here. Okay, so I've applied it. Now I'm going to take a dot, blend it out a bit. So guys, I had to finish the eye off camera because they literally just took light, but I just added Nairobi to the center and now we're going to blend out so it's not too intense. So guys, between you and me, I ran out of like all of my setting powders. So I'm just going to use one of my eyeshadow palette powders and we're gonna just, you know, finesse. I'm actually using Burkina from the Masquerade palette because it actually matches my skin tone pretty well. So because this powder is kind of awkward and not a good shade, you can see how it's leaving a cast, but I'm going to go in with my B blender to help fix that. I'm actually going to spray my face a bit before I continue with my Clarins Fix Makeup. Oh, now I'm going to apply my highlighter. Now again, we want dewy and I want to make sure that my makeup is on track to actually not look cakey. So spraying before I continue is a great way to make my foundation look like skin. So now I'm going to use my highlighter. I'm actually going to use a pearlescent highlighter and it's Max Superb. I've had this for years and it was limited edition. It's my favorite highlighter of all time. They don't make it anymore, obviously. Now I know some of you are probably like, girl, where that contour at? Well, we're gonna get there. I prefer to do my highlight before I contour. It helps me to blend it out better. So I'm going to use quite a bit, but I want everything to be nice and blended. I'm going to add a bit of gold highlighter from Blush Crush Cosmetics. Now it's super pigmented, so I'm going to use a very small amount. Now this is going to really help to warm up my face. When I'm taking selfies, I like to beam, but I don't like to go too overboard. That way the selfie still looks really natural. I want this to look like my natural skin glow, so we're actually going to go in with a beauty blender later just to make sure that the lines are nice and blended. I'm just gonna put a little bit of highlighter here and then a little bit of the gold one mixed with my normal one right here and right here. And I don't put it all the way down my nose. I hate the way that looks. I just put it where my nose is naturally highlighted and you guys saw there are two little points of light there and there. So great, now my highlighter's on, I'm going to add my contour and then we're going to blend everything again. So I'm going to go on with Fulani again. I've discovered that this is actually my perfect contour shade. Just going to make sure I bring it all away around my face. That way everything has a really nice smooth transition. Now I don't use too much product. I tend to just use what's on the brush and let it kind of work. So as I'm putting this on, I'm trying to blend the highlighter a bit. That's really important for pictures. So everything just looks really gradual and natural. I can't find my normal brush, but I'm going to take this deluxe blender from Adita Joseph and just use that to put on my nose contour, whatever. Just going to get it on the tip, and as you guys can see, I just do a very fine line, and I bring it all the way up to my brow. Okay, I think that's perfect. So now I'm going to just blend everything a bit better. I'm going to use this fluffier brush that I got years ago. So we're just going to take my beauty blender just to make sure everything is really nice and blended. It will also pick up excess product. I'm going to spray my face one more time. Then we're going to apply eyeliner and lashes and the lipstick. So guys, as you can see, I took a long time to finding my lashes. Great selfies are about great details. So you want your lashes to stand out. Now I'm also going to apply false lashes, but if you're not, I highly recommend using a mascara that adds a lot of volume and length. 
So now we're going to prepare our lashes. I'm just going to apply my glue. It's not a very strong glue because I've had a lot of bad experiences with stronger glues. And then I'm going to apply my lip while we're waiting for the glue to get a bit tacky. I think I'm going to go for a liquid lip because I want a nice gradual transition. And the liquid lip I'm using is Seki by Jax Cosmetics. It's one of my go-to reds. So I'm going to start little by little. We want our lips and the lip line to be as clean as possible and as blended as possible. So I'm blending as I go along. Okay, so there's the lip. I'm gonna apply the lashes now because I think they should be tacky enough. So now we're going to apply the fake freckles. It's super easy and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I do. Now I use the Higai and Esther. It's an eyebrow definer in Nubia in conjunction with my high definition expert brow liner from Vita Joseph. And I'm just going to take this and dip it into this. It makes applying the freckles a lot easier because this is pomade or pomade, you know, if you wanna be pretentious or extra <laughs> or if you're French. So I just kind of went ham, something different to add a little bit more to the selfies. So now to tone that down a bit though, I'm going to just go over this with my powder brush, just very gently. Before I forget, I just want to add a little blush for some more color. And then also same place. This is going to make my selfie really vibrant and ensure that I'm the focus. Now I don't always do this much makeup for selfies, but I wanted to show you guys how to do the perfect like look at this selfie selfie makeup. So <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed. We're gonna come back with my hair undone. Stars, thank you so much for watching. It's been fantastic making this video for you all. I actually really enjoyed this. If you all want to see how I put this selfie makeup to fantastic use, be sure to check out this video right here. I'm putting it up in the cards for you. It's actually my how to take perfect selfies video. And I know that a lot of you ask me, Hi, how do you edit your selfies? Why do your selfies look like this? Or this? Or this? Or this? Well, you guys, I really want to share that technique with you all. In fact, those techniques, it's a series of techniques. But before I do, I'd like to see this channel get to 150,000 subscribers. So when you guys can do that for me, we'll definitely, definitely start making editing tutorials. Thank you all once again so much for watching. Don't forget to check out my video on how to get the perfect selfie. And before you leave, be sure to give this video one big thumbs up. Comment down below and let me know how you like to take your selfies, what kind of makeup you like to take your selfies with, etc., etc. Let me know if you like this makeup look. Let me know what you think I should do next. What do you guys want me to show you? I'm really focused on creating content that shows you all exactly what it is that I love and how to do what it is that I love. Be sure to share this video with all of your friends and your loved ones. And again, you guys, I don't know what you're doing if you're not subscribed to the channel. Like, what are you doing? So be sure to subscribe, please, and thank you. And turn your notifications on so you know exactly when we post new videos. Thank you guys so much for your continued love and support. I'm really appreciative. And I'll see you guys in the next video.